Hello YouTube, this is your girl Miss Sasha LaRue coming to you live and direct from the East Coast. Well, this is probably my fourth attempt making the video. The last one I just made, um, it didn't get uploaded because it was too long. I was running my mouth. So I'm going to try to make this quick and simple. And was that a touchdown? Um, so today we are celebrating my husband's birthday. Yay, happy birthday. He's over there. He's watching his cowboys get their butt spanked. So he ain't so happy today, Martin. Um, I wanted to uh, talk about food habits and what um, and the things I've learned about myself. <clears throat> I'm sure most of the vets can attest to what I'm about to say um, for you, but let's be aware <clears throat> of the time that we eat. This is not a weight loss video, right? I mean, a um, numbers video. That'll be Tuesday morning um, when I get on the scale officially. Um, a little sidebar, I'm really trying to stay off the scale um, and just try to do it once a week. It is driving me crazy. It's like, you know, what was that movie when um, Chris Rock, he said, be calling me, calling me. Yeah, I feel like Mookie. So, um, we're falling back and doing too many of the scales. So, what I wanted to talk about is the food that I'm eating now. Um, I'm supposed to still be in that parade stage. Um, like I told you before, the parade is not going to work for me. I cannot parade chicken or anything like that. It is disgusting for me. Someone else it might be fine for. For me, it does not work, and I'm not going to do it. So, that being said, uh, we did make some chili the other day. Put them in the little four-ounce containers. Perfect. Went down. It fills me up, satisfies me. Um, and I do give it a little... I did give it a little shot of a puree, you know, just in the blender, just a little bit, not much, just to break up the bean a little bit, So, because I, I didn't know how that was going to go down. Um, as it turned out, it goes down just fine. You just chew, 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 and you're good. Well, I had a company over the weekend, came from out of town, from Maryland, and we did some um, crabs. My husband made some crabs for them, told them, you know, felt that they wanted to get the crabs. He would make them up for him. So they went and got some crabs. He made his homemade egg rolls, which were divine. Chicken, avocado, and bacon, cheddar cheese, egg rolls. O-M-G. Ha! Ah! So good. So what it was is that, you know, he deep fried them, though. So my mind went into autopilot, okay? Just old habits die hard. And I'm telling you, it, 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 this is something that we learn. So it's trial and error, and I'm not beating myself up about it because I like it because I'm learning more about me and my habits and what triggers me to do the things that I do. And being in a social setting, I'm a very social person, and I love social gatherings, and, um, and then I also do like peace and quiet also. But I do like to be around people, and I like socializing. So this is the first time that I was around um, friends who were drinking, partying, eating in excess and did not do none of that. I didn't miss out on any fun. I still enjoyed my company because I love them. So it was easy to do that. Um, conversation was good. Um, and, you know, they weren't, oh, they weren't like the loud drunk folks that, you know, we know that we can have in our family. So there, it was cool. Um, we had a nice time. Uh, they enjoyed the food and they ate up all the egg rolls and the crab legs. I had one cluster of snow crab legs. I had three legs off of that cluster. I didn't even dig deep into the body to try to get all, you know, the good juicy meat. I didn't need to do that. Didn't even need to dip it into butter because the seeds, the stock that my husband makes for the snow crab legs are enough seasoning that you don't really need to dip them in butter. That's just how good it is. So, and the egg roll I took, half the egg roll, and I ate it. Um, I did particularly like the greasiness because, uh, you know, he had to deep fry him to make to give him that crunch. Great crunch. And, you know, even before I um, had the weight loss surgery on um, the VSG, I did not particularly care for greasy stuff. And I'm not saying that it was greasy, but when you've been away from it and you go to greasy, you can tell greasy. So it was a little bit too much for me, but it was good. So I ate the inside of it. Like, you know, like I didn't do the edges so much. I just went inside and got it. 
came out to be about a half of one that I consumed. And I put it down and I said no more because I didn't know what I, you know, that was the first time I had anything bad. You know, or I wouldn't say bad, but something that was like old regular food. And I didn't want to hurt my pouch. Gizmo, I named my pouch Gizmo because it's the alien puppy inside there that makes these noises. So I named it Gizmo. And when Gizmo starts to move and talk and, and rumble, I stop. That's my signal for me, and that's when I stop. Because I know that if I go any further, I'm afraid that, you know, I'm going to hurt myself, and I don't want to do that. So, you know, went through the whole day, and I did fine. This morning I woke up. Uh, like I said, it was my husband's birthday, so I tried to get up and make him breakfast. And he had the regular, you know, the bacon, cheese, eggs, and potatoes, and toast, and all that good stuff. Well, I've been hearing a lot of people say how... Eggs don't go down easy, they don't go down good, and they come back up, and they had to wait, and eggs would just gave people a problem. So I said, you know, I'm an egg girl, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder how I'm going to make out with eggs. I said, well, let me make some eggs. So I took one egg, sprayed the pan with some pan spray, olive oil spray, took just, a, when I say a pinch of cheddar, cheddar shredded, shredded cheddar cheese, blah, 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 say that ten times fast, I'm talking about like a pinch, just to put it in there, Boop doesn't even measure up to anything, not even an eighth of, of an ounce. So I put that in there, came up to like maybe a total of 120 calories altogether, fried that up, and believe it or not, that one egg was, was two ounces in my four ounce cup. I took one strip of turkey bacon, crumbled that up, put it in there, and that was my breakfast. I was satisfied. I actually ate that felt full, satisfied, got on the couch and took a little nap. Like I had ate eaten the breakfast that my husband ate. But I, I felt good. Got up, got me some fluid and fluids are going in a lot um a lot better than they were in the beginning. Um I do a lot of these Sobe life waters. This one is the Fiji apple pear. Really good stuff. Um and you know they have the vitamins and minerals in there so that's supposed to be good for you also. Um I tried this thing out before I started the pre-op diet. In my instructions from my doctor, you know, they say when, you, when you're starting to eat, to take your fork, eat your food, put the fork down, wait three minutes before you pick the fork back up and put more food in. Chew, chew, chew. And I think those three minutes would be good, wisely used if you conversate, talk to people, um, if you're sitting at a dinner table, because, you know, at the end of the day, when you're having dinner, it's supposed to be talking to the family and seeing how, you know, although we don't sit at the table and have dinner, I don't know if we are dysfunctional because of that, but we don't. Um, so it just gives you time. And I practiced that before I had to go on the pre-op diet just to see, you know, just for shits and giggles to see what I would do, how it worked, what are those three minutes like. And preoperatively, those three minutes were long because I wanted to put the fork back in my mouth with the food. So then um, after, why are you taking my pillow? You, you could take it. You could take it with you. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lay back down. You lay and, back down. You know what time it is? I know it's three three eleven. I gotta go to work at four. So anyway, I um, found out that a lot of my habits were hard to put down the fork. Um, I would keep the fork in my hand or the spoon in my hand and I would just keep on eating and shoveling. Now, I take my time, I chew, it's still, I'm, I'm gonna work, I'm a work in progress. So, I, you know, I'm learning to, you know, put the fork down. I got, I put the fork down, I give it a few minutes before I put back in there. Because when you eat too fast, um, the vets will, put a t to, will confirm this, that you will get food stuck, it will feel kind of weird. I'm not going to say pain because I only, once I feel it, I stop, you know, I, I cool out, I pull myself back. So that was um, one thing I wanted to say that it is important to chew your food, take the time out, those three minutes in between, just try it out, see how, how it works for you. Um, and that'll give you an idea of which, how you were eating, you know, that's, that's what kind of worked for me, you know. Um, I was chatting with Miss Haitian Beauty. And she agreed too. She said the same thing, you know, that it's uh, it's amazing, you know, how fast we, we were eating, you know. So it, this is a little tip, you know, if you want to try something out different, I don't know, um, you know, every doctor gives us, you know, everyone um, 
different instructions and stuff, but I think that's something good to try to do, just to gauge where you're at and where you're coming from and how well you're doing. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, I'm getting in more fluids. My protein, I believe, I'm doing pretty good. Um, the parade diet, no, I'm going to just eat soft foods. Um, right now, I think my gizmo is telling me that he's kind of hungry, so I'm going to get me a little bit of um, chili. Chili has been my, a godsend for me, guys. Chili has been really, really good. Uh, we made a big batch of it, so I, I got tons of it. Yeah, but you need to hurry up and, and eat them, put it in the freezer, because you can't keep it in there forever. How long? I, I only had it in there for like three days, right? Yeah, well, yeah, well it's going to be you want to get rid of it in a minute. All right. So, I'm going to put it in, can I put it in the freezer? I put it in the freezer bag? Yeah. Okay, so you hear that? You can't have it. You got you to freeze in the store. Only reason why I don't want to freeze that big thing is it's going to be hard to defrost it when you're ready to eat it. Well, put them in a cup and put them in a cup. You're going to take them out from the microwave. Okay. All right. So there you go. <coughs> Maybe I'll just put them in bags. Yeah, put them in the bags. Um. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, you see my weights here. Also, um, just a little tidbit about my future um, gym. Well, I got the Ziploc Hefty Bag. Yeah, little... All right, maybe when I go to work tonight, I'll pick up some. Um, weight training and weight lifting. Um, I had plans on doing the gym in the morning um, and joining this gym that's next door to my job. I had the idea that I would go there, be there at 6 o'clock in the morning, get my workout in, go to work, and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I had a problem with leaving my house. You know, I would have to get up at dark 30, be on the bus, get into Center City, um, and then my son who takes the bus in the morning, I didn't want to really necessarily leave him and go to that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm building me a gym for my living room. That's right. I'm going to Target. I'm going to get some more of these. These are only three pound jobbers, but I'm just, you know, they're light right now, so I'm just doing my arms and stuff with them. Um, so I'm going to go and get me some weights from Target. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a five pound set, a 10 pound set, 15 and 20. And I got a 25 pound kettlebell over there that I have not been yet, yet able to use because I've been cleared to pick up more than 20 pounds. So. I'm going to take my time on that. Um, so the first week of November is on. I'll be going back to boot camp on Saturdays. And I'm going to be doing my workouts Monday through Friday in my living room. Because God knows that Comcast has on demand. And they got all the fitness shows. And I know how to work out. All I need is some weights. And it's on. Why am I going to give someone $60 a month to work out in their facility when I can save that $60 a month? to buy some new clothes for the upcoming spring season. That's right. We're looking ahead. So let me get off this video now. I got to get ready to go to work and ring up everyone's food. <laughs> um, my part-time job, I'm going back to it tonight. So uh, I wish everyone good luck. Who's ever having surgery coming up this weekend, uh, this week, good luck, Godspeed, and you're recovering. Um, this is the best decision that you're going to make for yourself. I totally don't regret it. I look forward to what God has in store for me. Um, and to all my new subscribers, thank you for joining me with, on my journey. Um, I'm trying to find a way that I can identify the new ones. Um, and also, I have and then trying to subscribe to everyone's channel. So give me a minute. I'm working through that list now. Um, I love you all for watching. I appreciate it. And you guys are really awesome. It's a beautiful family. Shout out to all my old subscribers. I love you guys. Raquel. Ronald, can we get a good Raquel for her? Uh, Raquel. <laughs> That's for you, sweetie. Congratulations on your um, AIDS walk. She did the AIDS walk today. She's over in California. So congratulations on doing that. Uh huh. Um, congratulations on that. That's a wonderful thing. I'm sure your community appreciates you for all your hard work and effort. So... Later for now, I'll talk to you guys, and be well. Peace. <laughs>